What's going on guys? My name is Brian and this is by Coastal Gaming. We are going to be coming at you with another Division 2 video. I'm going to be going over the solo top position for boss 2 of the Iron Horse. I've gotten a couple requests following the other three videos that I've done so far. It is awesome to hear you guys are getting some good use out of them. I want to take a brief segment to say thank you to the Wipe Squad for just being an amazing clan. If you want to check out our Discord or our community or join the clan yourself, there is a link down in the description below. So without any further ado and without making this intro any longer than it has to be, let's get into the build. All right, so as usual, starting at the top, I'm going to start with the uh, specialization, which is going to be the marksman or with the big old TAC-50 sniper. We're not actually using the TAC-50. We're not even really using the flashbang grenade. The only thing we're going to be using that is specific is the tactician drone. And that is so we know which side left or right the purple and the chunga are coming from. You'll see in the footage later that basically I'm going to stand in the middle of the hallway with all the lights out and look at which way the lines are. And that's about it. Other than that, here is what I use. You can probably tweak this around a little bit more to be more DPS centric, but uh, I have used these pieces with pretty good success. Obviously, I placed the Slayer in here as a placeholder. As far as the secondary weapon, you probably want something for damage, whether it be a Carbine 7, whether it be a FAMAS, whether it be probably something of the assault rifle variety. Yeah, I just put this here because I didn't want anyone to think they had to copy with my specific assault rifle, whatever I use. You are fighting at very, very short range, and 90% of the time, as long as you don't mess up like I do, you will only need the shotgun or the D50, or shotgun and D50. All right, the shotgun we are going to be using today is the Lullaby. It is identical to the Sweet Dreams. This is just because I pre-ordered, I was able to make a Lullaby. My Sweet Dreams had a terrible roll. I like the look of the Lullaby. It's just personal preference, but you do need the exotic talent from one of these two shotguns, which is melee attacks instantly kill non-elite enemies. Basically any enemy that is a purple or a veteran or a red bar normal level enemy, you can walk up to them and melee them. I have mine default set as tab, whatever your melee hotkey is. Walk up to them, melee them, and poof, they're dead. As I said, in the secondary slot, you can pretty much put whatever you use normally for your assault rifle. I use a carbine seven as my standard practice assault rifle, but you do not need to use a carbine seven if you don't have one. You can use a FAMAS, you can use any assault rifle with a good quick burst DPS. The only reason you would need the assault rifle is if you screw up your shot with your D50. Uh, you do need a D50, damage to target out of cover, pistol damage. I run Optimist for the talent on mine. It's not necessarily that you have to run Optimist. It does work well, but I can one shot them on the first round of the magazine with no issue. I use the Firefly to remove the armor, and then I shoot them in the stomach where they have no armor now, and it's a one-shot. So it's Lullaby, D50, go back to the middle. Job done, no big deal. All right, moving on to the gear pieces, starting with the mask. I am using a Punch Drunk with weapon damage. You get the 20% headshot damage, and I have weapon handling on mine because I use this for my stable sniper build as well. I also have a headshot mod on here because again, like I said, I use it for my stable sniper build. You don't really need the mod for the headshot damage. I don't think you're gonna have any issues with killing or not killing them without the mods there. If we look at my chest piece, I am just using a standard sacrifice with glass cannon, perfect glass cannon, crit damage, crit chance, crit damage. Again, these are just pieces that I've kind of put together Moving down to the holster, we are using the Dodge City Gunslinger holster. The quick draw stack, while your pistol is holstered, gain a stacking buff every 0.3 seconds up to 100. When you swap to it, your first shot consumes the buff and deals 10% damage per stack. This deals headshot damage to anywhere you hit. So adding the extra headshot damage from here is beneficial. However, having the extra 10% headshot mod is probably not required. None of my other pieces, if I kind of move around real quick, have headshot damage on them. 
Going to my backpack, I recently found the gift in a named item cache. It has taken me probably two years to get this item. I am very grateful to have it, but it is not required. Prior to this, I used a standard Vigilance Providence backpack with the four seconds instead of three seconds difference. The, the literally one second difference is the only benefit of it. And I have all weapon damage, crit chance, crit damage, and crit damage mod. Moving down to the gloves, I just, for my third piece of Providence, so we have the headshot, the crit chance, the crit damage. We have prayer Providence gloves, and I'm using a pair of Fox's prayer knee pads with the damage target under cover and the critical critical hit damage. Going over the skills, because these are part of the build, I am using the tactician drone, as you'll see in the gameplay afterwards. I am using it just to tell which side they are coming from. However, one thing I will tell you is I am using the duration, I am using health, and I am using armor repair because there's nothing else here that's useful. I do not want to use the scan range because if I use the scan range, I will end up being able to see everything spawning across the map, and it gets really confusing. So I have just put a health mod here. You don't even need either of these two mods. The benefit of the 15% duration mod is it stays up a lot longer as you see the duration is 414 seconds and if i come back it's 387 seconds so that is a 54 second almost a minute longer by having the 15 percent duration mod you can use this one and this gives you an extra 30 seconds if you have this one unlocked you might as well use it as far as the demolisher firefly i'm using skill haste just to get it back as quick as i can I am using the extra damage on it, and then I am using plus one targets because I don't have any of the other pieces here in this slot. This build is quite simple to put together as long as you have the marksman class and you have the shotgun and the gunslinger. The rest of the pieces are pretty simple to get and farm for shouldn't be too hard of a grind to get all the pieces that you're looking for. If you have liked these videos, click like the little thumbs up down there click it. I really appreciate it. It means a lot when I see it and it does help the video. If you are liking the videos and liking what we're getting put out here, click the subscribe button. I promise there is several more videos coming. I think I have three or four more of these planned of different builds from the raids. So if you like these, feel free to leave a comment. Let me know what you like about them or let me know which one you want to see next. I will try and get to those. We're going to dive into the gameplay now and I will see you all in just a second. All right, so we've seen the build, we've seen the pieces. Now let's see what I do and how bad I suck at this. I'm going to break all three of the lights in the hallway because it makes seeing the lines coming off of that drone much more simple. It takes three shotgun blasts, or you can come up here with your assault rifle and blast the bejesus out of them. Whatever works for you, it doesn't really matter. But you break the cover, and then you can see the two lights for each one here. The lights on the far end, you'll see me break these here. These are because I'm bored and I want something to break because it's fun. Who doesn't like breaking things for no reason? And we're going to head back. We're going to break the other side. And then I'm going to jump ahead to about halfway through the fight. Because the first half, I think I only got one Chunga. And rather than you sitting here watching me look at lines, I figured I'd go to the second half of the fight where I got a whole lot more Chungas. So right here in the middle of the room, or the middle of the hallway, there's that line, the, the box there I can put everything on. The way that you aim your drone is pull it out, and then whatever button it's keybind to you will just press that button. You'll see I have that little extra thing. As long as you don't push it again in the middle of through the fight, you're fine. So we meleeed the veteran. Then we use the firefly with a little bit of help from control room. And from there, we shot it with a pistol. Problem solved. So right here, I can hear the fire tank he's calling out the code right now my control room is a little busy with the doors for rockets so i'm calling out what it is for the rest of the team to look at stuff so we can kind of kill two weirds with one stone it's not a requirement of the job right here i shoot his arm 
So this is what I mean if you don't suck. I did go back to my shotgun rather than going to my assault rifle, but you could use your assault rifle in that case as well. However, if all you have is a shotgun and pistol, you can do this job still. So now we're going to go back. We're going to look at lines, try and figure out where they're going. You can hear them. They are moving the crucible and someone's breaking weak points. That one, we got a really good jump on it. I didn't get a very good jump on it, but you can hide in the hallways or you can use the pillar. A lot of times you can just use your environment to hide you from the grenades if you are a little behind. So like I was saying, it is just melee with your shotgun, use your firefly, and then shoot the chunga in the stomach with the pistol. It's a pretty simple concept. A lot of it is timing and practice, as a lot of stuff is. So this way you will have that idea of what to do here. We are getting ready for everyone to go down to B. I'm going to do one more here. You'll see the doors close. So my I took a little bit longer just because I was a little confused on the lines. Like I said, if, if you have the range portion mod on your drone, it can create more lines than you need. I didn't have it, and I still was just a little confused. I thought it was maybe some guys downstairs, and it was actually over here, so they got a little ahead of me. They're doing a final rocket phase, I think. Unfortunately, when you're up here, you don't really know a whole lot of what's going on without any other signs or cues from the rest of the team. So we're looking at the lines. Those are down below me. Those are, oops, those are to the left. We need to get over there. So we're going to melee this guy. And where's the Chunga? He decided to go inside. So we want to try and pull him out. So I'm going to shoot him just to get his aggro. Now we're going to try and firefly him. Duck away from anything he has to attack. Shoot him in the stomach. And he is good. If it had timed out so that the doors had closed because the window broke as he was in there, that would have left him with my healer. And I would have had a very unhappy control room healer. So, at this point, I am watching the lines. There is the glass breaking. Like I said, if the glass breaks, the doors close, and you will leave a Chunga inside. That is not good for your healer, because he does not do much damage. We're going to run down to B. I have this purple here. I'm going to melee him, and then we're going to turn around and firefly when we get down to the bottom. I did miss the door, so we're going to just hang out here and shoot whatever ads come out. But thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate having you here. And if you like this, please subscribe, leave a like on the video, subscribe, hit the little bell thing, whatever you guys do, I appreciate all you do, and I will see you guys in the next playthrough video.